What is cayenne? An automobile? A seasoning? No. This is cayenne, the video production center. Cayenne is physically three elements. A signal processing frame, that's either four or eight rack units. The eight rack unit frame has 96 inputs and 48 assignable outputs. The panel control unit, or PCU, houses the CPU for the control panel, menu, and has redundant power supplies. The control panel is incredibly thin, as well as the touchscreen menu, which supports five soft knobs and four USB connectors, two on the side and two on the back. The Cayenne frames have a range of configurations from one and a half through four and a half MEs. Cayenne supports input and output conversion, which is internal to the switcher. There are 16 input converters called match def and eight output converters called set def. No ME resources are used for conversions. Cayenne has six keys per ME. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Keys five and six are simple linear and luminous keys. Keys one through four are full function keys, which includes IDPM DVE channels. Keys one through four also have two pages of key store, two pages of video, and two pages of key. So in the menu, I can go into the key store menu, grab freeze page one, go back to live, grab a second page, and switch with macros and emails between live, page one, and page two. Kine also has a simple ME, ME50. ME50, the half ME, has six linear keys and can be controlled from any of the ME stripes. So here's keys one through six and dissolving, and it has double take or split ME mode as well. With a combination of the full MEs plus ME50 and a four and a half ME configured system, you can have up to 30 keys at the same time. Kine also supports sophisticated DPM effects. The first system is called the IDPM. IDPM can have two, four, eight, 12, or all 16 channels. It supports glow, defocus, curl, lighting, drop shadow, splits of mirrors, and strobe effects. The second DVE system is called the EDPM. What's different about that DVE system is that it has four channels combined together. And the EDPM shows up as a source on the switcher with a companion key signal. You can key the EDPM on any ME, including the half ME50. Any combination of the four channels of EDPM can be split between two independent combiner outputs. And those combiner outputs have separate EMEMs for primary and secondary EDPM effects. The DPM support another feature called corner pinning. This is available for both IDPM and EDPM. What it allows you to do is position the DVE and then adjust each corner of the DVE independently. So I can adjust the upper left hand side and position that in the corner of that channel, the upper right hand side, lower left hand side, and then the bottom right hand side. So you can actually apply a DVE channel to any monitor or any scene you wish to do and maintain the perspective or rotation you wish for that particular effect. Another important feature of uh, corner pinning is also the fact you can actually zoom and pan and scan inside your DPM channels. Another powerful feature of Cayenne is double take or split ME mode. This actually provides two independent partitions per ME. One's called primary and the other one's called secondary. On the left hand monitor, I have the primary. I'll put a program preset. I can do a dissolve or wipe and have six keys on the primary side. When I press secondary, the right hand monitor displays the secondary output of the program preset bus and I can do an independent transition. Or I can link both primary and secondary at the same time and do a transition on both the primary side and the secondary side. Or I can actually split the lever arm and do a separate transition for the primary and a separate transition for secondary. All the keys can be assigned to either the primary side, secondary side, or both. In this menu here, I can put key six and key five, for example, on the secondary side, or also key two, and I've got three keys on each partition. But a new feature with Cayenne is the ability to put keys on both partitions. Now I have both key five and six on the primary and secondary outputs of each partition. This is very, very powerful for a multicast show where you're streaming content, for example, on the air and on the internet with different graphics and different scenes for both streams going at the same time. Another component of double take is layered mode. This is something we've been doing in our switchers for a long time. This combines all six channels of keyers, including the DVEs, with a companion key signal. And when I run the timeline, you have a real-time video and key output of the ME.